So far, it looks. Uh, I mean, it was good. You know, at the end, uh, it was a difficult day because we we got some rain, so we didn't we didn't have the time to, to try what we wanted, and uh, we lost a bit of time because I, I crashed in the morning, uh, so the the guys had to to repair and rebuild, rebuild the car. But we've been uh, we've been ready for the dry condition the last uh, two hours more or less, and uh, the drivers from the car, Alan and Tom and myself, been pretty happy with the car in every condition. At the end of the day, I got the opportunity to, to go with, uh, with new tires and, uh, and not fuel for one lap. And fortunately, I got a lap without any traffic, which is probably the main thing here in Le Mans. And then the lap time was good, so I mean, it, it, it gives confidence for sure because you know that the performance is there. But at the end, it's, it's nothing. You know, the, the important thing is uh, it's to be on the top on Sunday afternoon. And even if you, you start fifth after the qualifying, there is a lot of chance to win. So here in Le Mans, it doesn't, doesn't matter really how quick you are. This is a new team for you. Uh, well, certainly you have a lot of experience with Audi Sport, but, but this year you're racing with Tom and Alan. Uh, how's that transition going and how's it work with those guys? I mean, first of all, I'm really proud of it, you know. I, I, I joined Le Mans in 2008 for the first time, then since 2009 I'm here every year, uh, 2010 I'm here every year. And, um, and to, to know that just a few years after you started here in Le Mans, you are able to join Audi and being teammate with uh, Alan McNeish and Tom Christensen, which are big reference here in Le Mans. And, uh, I mean, Tom won eight times, Alan twice. It's uh, for sure it's something special, so I'm really proud of it. But then at the end, there are racing drivers like I am, and uh, we just try to, to go the same way, to push uh, as much as we can, and uh, to, to be able to win. So it's uh, for sure I learned a lot from them. But I hope also in the other side that you know I'm from another generation, so maybe I can bring something to, to, to the team. So I would say that uh, both ways we, we try to, to help each other. This is last year you raced in the Ultra, and this year. Can you kind of walk through uh, your mindset in, in transitioning from from the Ultra to the e-tron uh, The main difference, for sure, is the it's a hybrid system, which I was not really used to to, to work with, but. Uh, Basically, you have a little more switches, you know, to, to, to understand and to, to work with for the, the hybrid system to, to configure everything. And then, basically, also the, the car changed a lot compared to last year. Okay, we, we had an Ultra, but even, I mean, the e tron car was exactly the same, you know, it was only the hybrid system on. Uh, now we, we have also a, a brand new car, you know, everybody works really hard in terms of aero package, of, uh, 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 all sort of things. I mean, they improve the, the hybrid system also to get a little bit more performance. Uh, we have a bond diffuser, so it's a lot of new things. So at the end, the car compared to last year is much better to drive. Easier, there's more of a grip, you feel a little bit more power. So uh, for a driver, it's pretty cool to drive now. It seems like definitely from, from last year to this year, you Uh, we, we had to find, uh, I mean, to do a big step. You know, we we saw at the end of last year that uh, Toyota was uh, was very strong, uh, very quick, and uh, we are not talking only about Le Mans now. We are talking about the World Championship, and uh, of course you, you need reliability for Le Mans, but you, you need the uh, performance for the for the races. And we, we worked really hard during the winter to to increase our performance, to to find some tens seconds, you know, everywhere. So it's really hard, you know, when you start from uh, from one one year old car, and you have to keep this car, but you have to, to improve a lot in terms of performance. You have to work on every details, and uh, I think there the, the the engineers have done and the mechanics have done a very good job. I think Toyota, there hasn't been much time with them on track. They've only used, other than the test, they've only used the new car for part of one race. Yeah. How do you see the pace on that on the new car? It, it seems, I mean, it looks like they struggled a little bit for one lap. What we saw in the, in Spa here, we don't we don't know yet. You know, it was difficult, uh, as I said, for the pretest. Uh, but we saw them pretty competitive in the race in uh, in Spa. You know, till uh, till they had to stop for for a technical problem. So we know that they're going to be probably quick, very strong. 
they have the opportunity to do more laps than us. We don't know if it's one or two, or, but uh, they have a much bigger full tank, and uh, this full tank has been uh, increased for, for three liters more after the spa race, so it, it makes our life even more difficult. So we, we know that we have to be quick anyway, and quicker than them to have a, to have a chance for, for the shot here. No? I saw uh, last year in July, uh, just after the race, Race Car Engineering published some data. One, one of the things they looked at was uh, average average lap time in, a, in a, an overall stint. Uh, and you did quite well. Even though you were in an ultra, you were the fastest of the ultra drivers. You were also uh, faster than several of the Utah drivers. Uh, my, Tom Allen actually was, was very fast as well. Combined uh, with, with Tom, who's got a lot of experience here. Where do you see you guys? Uh, overall, I, I certainly had the pace at, at the test. Yeah, I mean, it's. As I said before, no more, it's not really a performance thing, you know. Uh, we saw last year that both car, car number one and car number two, did uh, a few mistakes, you know, during the race. So you actually, you know that if you do a race without any mistakes, you have a chance for, for a win, you know, even if you're not talking about performance. So that's the main thing. After, for sure, at the end, when it's close, like 2010, with 13 seconds difference, every second counts, for sure. Uh, for the pit stop, when you restart from the pits, you know, the, the, the way you, you go in the pits, uh, the, the way you go in the traffic, so it's important. And uh, of course, when you are behind the steering, you, you try to, to maximize that, that time and that performance to make sure you, you don't lose time. But at the end, I think what we have to, to be careful and, uh, and think about is to do a race without any problems. And uh, you have to be safe enough in the traffic and also aggressive sometimes because you cannot lose too much time. But uh, you, you have to, to, be, to be aware that you have to be far away from the problems. When, um, when the race starts and you finally see how many laps the Toyota can get, it, two more laps, you must go faster. Two more laps, you must go faster. Yeah, you get to the point where you've got to find that time. And, uh, is it a question of uh, perhaps when you're taking it more easily and trying to keep it liable, maybe you'll hit, you know, hit every, every corner as hard? Um, I assume the car can take it, but, but how much care do you use? Or how much you have to take care, you know, here I, it's easy to, to win uh, four, five, six tenths a lap if you, if you, if you cross the, the, ba the yellow bananas on the, on the chickens, for example, or the rouge, but you do you do it one twice it's okay but if you do that the whole race for sure you're gonna break the, the splitter uh, you can break the floor and then you lose a lot a lot of time so at the end uh, it's not really good to, to, to take the, this kind of risks because you're gonna lose more than what you win so for sure you have to to, to go away from those bananas and, uh, and curbs to make sure that, I mean, it's much better for the, the reliability of the car and that's the most important thing for us. Uh, last question, more of a personal question. It looked like you had your family with you yesterday at Scrutineering. Is it, 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 you've raced here many times. Uh, have they always been here? Is this something new for you? And, and how is it to be here as a, as a dad? Is this... They've been here last year already. Uh, it's okay, you know, they, they are here, but uh, at the end I'm here to work so of course they are wrong because I, I come for a week and they want to see the race and uh, but at the end my my son was here I mean yesterday he would probably go with his grandparents uh, on, on Wednesday or Thursday so at the end you know during the big uh, the big event they're, they're not gonna be here and uh, which which I prefer because I, I don't want me to be I, I don't want them to be around me you know I want to be free and uh, focus on my, on my job but here the, during the beginning of the week you know uh, we are traveling so much that sometimes it's nice to to have uh, to have them next to you you know to get pumped up and uh, to, to to recharge the, the battery so that's why they are here for the beginning it's fine it's no problem but for sure during the race weekend I, I prefer them to be uh, behind the TV and, uh, and watch on TV the race. Well, I thank you for your time. Thank you. No problem.